cameraman Dominic. ODI debuts tonight for the West Indies. Firstly, just tell me how do you feel? Yeah, it's an amazing feeling, obviously, playing for the West Indies. It's something that you aspire to do from childhood. And obviously, to get the opportunity, it's an amazing feeling. So I'm really thankful for it. Uh, well, this was my first game. First, if you ever game, for sure, yeah. But I was getting a win for West Indies, you know. It's a fantastic feeling. You know, both of you definitely consider yourself solid all-rounders. Um, however, neither got a chance with the bat tonight. Kevin, just talk a little bit about your bowling effort and what you hope to do for this team going forward. Yeah, well, it was pretty good to get a bowling. Um, obviously, bowling in the power play you know, is something that I'm accustomed to, so it was really nice to, to get that going. Um, didn't get any wickets, but then I was happy with the, the spell that I had. Um, I didn't get any batting, unfortunately, but you know, I must say that the, the guys who did get a bat, they did very well. I'm looking forward to at least get a bat next game, but you know, I'll take it however it comes, but I'm grateful for the opportunity thus far. Dominic, two wickets tonight for you, I would say quite a successful debut with the ball. Um, how does it feel? How do you feel? I feel extremely tired. It's 40 degrees today. <laughs> I think the only way I got through because of Odin and uh, Kimo, you know, my youth, my youth partners. Uh, so like playing with Tige, with those, uh, a much heartwarming feeling, I must say. Two more matches left in this series. What do you guys hope to get out of this series? I think consistency and always just, you know, keep pushing the bar. Obviously, that's something we're trying to set high standards and just keep moving up and up. So, and obviously, you know, coming out in the series 3-0. Uh, so, it's, it's something that we're looking forward to and just trying to, you know, keep improving every game. Yeah, as such said, consistency. You like to play three and win three. So, I think that will be it. Yeah. And the captain came out there at the end and really put an exclamation mark um, on the win. How important do you guys think that these matches are in the grand scheme of the ODI plans for the West Indies team, considering the qualifiers coming up as well? Yeah, I think it's very important. Um, I believe that how you do anything is how you do everything. And obviously, you know, I had an opportunity to chat with the skipper while, he, while we were batting, and obviously, you know, he said that positive mindset and looking to score. So, and obviously, you know, he went on and showed up with the bat. So, he, he's, we're moving in a really good direction, and it was really pleasing to see. Yeah, like the funny thing you do, try to set a standard. Uh, you know, you come here, you come to play hard cricket, you know, taking that step by step, you're taking it on to the next door, even if some of us are not there. You know, just branding the cricket for lessons. Dominic, I want you to explain Brandon King's innings in one word. Phenomenal. <laughs> Expound a little bit on that for us, Kevin. Tell us about that innings yeah, from I King. Think the tempo that he had, it was basically a start to end. You know, he really showed his dominance, his class. The ball striking was beautiful. The rotation of his strike was, was clinical. And, you know, he really showed his dominance and, you know, why he, he is one of the best batsmen. So, you know, it was really great to see. And, you know, looking forward to more innings like that. Thank you, guys, and congratulations again. Thank you very much.